I'm sure they will be willing to. Whichever crown he wins, I'm taking it home. What I love that, uh, that Scrub does for Fort Wayne Ultimate Locals is he has a bunch of tiny crowns. And really? the winner of every single local gets a crown. So he just bought a bunch of, like, little plastic Actually, crowns. Actually, I have yeah. one of those because Doorstop came up for a different tournament and I used it oh, for my salties, Peach cosplay. Yeah. <laughs> I used yeah, I love that he does that. I love that that's the theme for <laughs> Yeah, it's the definitely, like, a cute theme. It's great. Big fan. I love when tournaments do little things to make it just that much more memorable. Yeah. Like, and you're going to remember the tournament that gave you a crown for getting top eight. There was a tournament down in um, Tennessee that when he won, they gave him an envelope with the cash in it, and it has Heisenberg drawn in Sharpie. And I was like, this is the best thing I've ever seen. I have it, like, hanging up in my house. I love when tournaments have, like, quirky little gifts yeah. that go with the cash. Because, like, everybody loves money, but, you know. Yeah. You what, need something, what I love... Like, like it a memento. always comes from, like, that scene's culture. Yeah. No one just decides, like, we're going to draw Heisenberg on this letter. It no. has something to do with their community, something yeah. that means a lot to them, and being able to share that with competitors that travel your scene is always great. It always yeah. makes your turn up that much more memorable. They give them, like, a train car, too. I don't know why, but... Like a... Like from a board game? No, like a... Like a train car. Like... Like oh, on a car. Yeah, I like you said on a card. No, like a train. <laughs> like a model train? Yeah, like a model train. A model train and it was like painted with whatever the name of the tournament was. I should I tell think. Scrub like to uh, get on the model train. Yeah. We might have to switch out the crowns for some locomotives. Any Dayton tournament, they should do like airplanes because they're right next to the Air Force Museum. You know? Yeah, I just I love when tournaments do stuff like that. Anyone can make like a, a generic trophy. But not everyone can give a give doorstop a, a model train yeah i mean a king k rule crown is a lot cooler oh, yeah. than like a a trophy that looks like a participation trophy yeah we're about to get started with with maybe the most anticipated set at a tournament i say maybe because grands might be the most anticipated and it might be the same matchup <laughs> Grands is super important in this tournament as well because not only is there a $500 pop bonus, but first and second place get their entry and travel to SmashCon yes. paid for, which is huge. And I know AK's gunning for that, and I know Doorstop is too. So yeah. very excited to see who's going to take that prize home um, because SmashCon, probably my favorite major I've ever oh, been yeah, to. Oh, yeah, for it's sure. It's so much fun. We were just talking about tournaments that make you remember them. SmashCon, by far, the major that has me coming back the most. Yeah, I mean, SmashCon's a lot of fun for not only competitors, but like oh, people yeah. just going to hang out, too. They have so many cool shops, so many cool vendors, um, so many different games to play, too. Oh, yeah, the they DDR a, setup, they yeah. got arcade. They have a karaoke the competition, like so yeah, many cool phenomenal. things to look forward this to. This is the one major that I have been to uh, since not competing as much, and I, just, I, I will go every, every year. Oh, yeah. Every single year. And the best cosplay contest, too. There were like hundreds yes. of people cosplaying. Last year they had a big dance off of all the cosplayers. <laughs> it was great. All right, getting started to here get on started. PS2. No surprise there. I know that Doorstop and AK both really like the stage, and it's very good for Snake as well. Great. Yeah, just playing super patient here. Zare is going to be a really good poking tool for uh, Doorstop, but AK is a parry bot. He's really good at hitting oh, these yeah. parries, so has to be really careful on that spacing. So far, Doorstop doing a really good job, though, of just playing super patient. Using this jab is going to be frame one, so it is going to be like a pretty good boxing tool against Snake. For sure. And we have to imagine that the Doorstop's going to get a lot of mileage out of his type of game plan, where he's really just forcing Apollo Kage to do something to aggressively approach him and just hitting him once and just making him do it again. Yeah, because like in a lot of these situations, AK is just throwing the grenade, waiting for damage to rack up. But yeah. having that Zare kind of makes it so oh, it yeah. closes the distance. He's not able to do that nearly as much. Especially when you consider, you know, as, as ZSS, your combos aren't necessarily always true regardless. So you add a snake grenade in there. Or you, do you want to risk getting blown up? Maybe not. So you just get that hit. You run away a little bit. You, know, you force Snake to play your Ooh, game. I really love that pressure there from oh, yeah. AK, expecting Doorstop to kind of flight out of the corner, jump to the platform, blowing up that C4. But Doorstop playing super patient, actually, Ooh. and uh, recognizing that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Very okay. scary situation for Doorstop. Yeah, Snake Rage definitely could see a very early up tilt kill here. Yeah, it's going to be a very different game if AK gets his stock. Because okay. you see... You know, Doorstop with the lead, he's able to play this game, but as soon as Apollo Kage has any kind of lead, he's no longer able to do that. Yeah, playing super patient on these platforms, just trying to jump around, not trying to land on top of AK, because if he's able to get Ooh. that parry, it's an instant up tilt to death. But able to Great find that catch. up there, 
sharking for him up there in the air. Um, ZSS having that air mobility, really oh, good yeah. double jump, going to be able to get up there if AK is doing a lot of high recoveries. But also you have to worry about like the flip jump if and the down smash too at the ledge if you're recovering low. So I think that that's yeah, definitely... Yeah, you for sure cannot be lazy up there. Yeah. Which is something Snake can be against a lot of characters. Yeah, definitely oh. have to be really careful. Okay, not going for the up B. Instead, trying to just get these up air extensions. Ooh, almost a great catch from AK. He calls out the jump back, but just barely whiffs on the execution. I really like the way that Doorstop was also just like walking over the C4, trying to bait him into blowing it up. Um, definitely aware of where it was, and it's no longer on stage two, so Doorstop kind of has free reign on edge guarding here. Okay. Ooh. Now, I'm very interested to see how doesn't end up making it. What I was going to ask is how well ZSS does against that Nikita. I think he was expecting to make it back in also be able to hit the Nikita. Okay. Um, she does have like mobility with that flip jump and also yeah. being able to like zare to the ledge. But um, I think Dorsop just kind of messed up in that situation. But still has 126% lead on AK right now. Just needs like a, a zare into a tech chase situation or yeah, even almost a the magic smash. percent. You start everything starts causing a tech chase. You know your down smash will probably kill from everywhere on the stage, regardless of where you're facing. Yeah, probably not going to see a lot of up throw kills though. Even yeah. though AK is very good at getting to these high percents, but Snake is just way too heavy for Ooh, it to really play he gets a, a part. stick. Okay, but now it's on no AK. Longer has a stick. Yeah, doorstop's probably just going to run away this entire time. Not going to try to interact with that. Okay, yep, just retreating to these platforms. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, really good air dodge. Barely misses there, yeah. that. Barely misses that air dodge punish. Great awareness from doorstop. You saw he saw that the C4 was on the ground without even having it on the screen. Ends up flip kicking away instead of landing on it. Yeah, and this kind of creating a war zone, making it a little hard for doorstop to get in here. But yeah, able to find that back air, and now this is a much different game than it was two seconds yeah, ago. Yeah, so I was about to say, we were in the exact same situation we were before, where Doorstop is one hit away from being in a huge lead, and Apollo Cog was one hit away from making Doorstop very sad. Yes. Yeah, Ooh, but... Back to even. Not able to do anything about that. I wonder if he can, like, throw out a fair or something to try to contest against it, but... Yeah, and even game... You see AK way less inclined to run towards doorstop when we're even. Yes, he's definitely sure. realizing that it might not be his best best option here, and now he's making doorstop do the same. Right, uh, placing that C4 in the center, just trying to control space. Even if AK is not positioned in the center, having that C4 kind of makes it so he has yeah. center stage. Going to use that dash attack, going to be a really Ooh. good burst option for Snake. Trying to use the grenade to his own Great benefit. Great pressure from, yeah. from doorstop. Ooh, Ooh. Very scary. <gasps> oh, and the I C4's he, on the platform. Yeah, I thought, I thought, he, thought he stuck, stuck him. him. I, I think thought, he tried I to. I thought Dorsop was dead. I'm not going to lie to you. At 46%. No, I thought he was dead. I yeah. thought he was getting up smashed to C4. All right. AK loves using that crouch, too. It's really good against this Zare that you see from Dorsop. He's trying to poke. But if AK is able to use that um, crouch, he kind of just goes underneath CSS. Ooh. Or just barely at the percent or no no player really has a lead. So I'm very interested to see how they handle the situation when no one's really forced oh to approach. Oh my gosh! And it looks like Dorsop's gonna handle it like that. Yeah, in a lot of those situations, you see him go for that fair into back air, but instead yeah. recognizing that AK was gonna go to ledge, hitting that down smash and able to take that first game. Yeah, phenomenal awareness. You know, and again, two characters that really just get their hands on each other and beat them up. You know, yep. I, I, I love these matchups we're yep. seeing in top eight. Very based characters. All right, probably going. Oh, okay. okay. Never mind. I was gonna say back to PS2. I was gonna say I, I think they normally go back to PS2. Instead, from the, from the little bit I've seen of these two. Yeah, opting to go to Hollow Bastion instead, which makes sense. I think that this is a really good oh, stage yeah. for Snake. Oh yeah, phenomenal stage for Snake. And you take away a lot of the space the SS has to run around. Not yeah. only the space of the stage, but giving those side platforms away in, in favor of a single middle platform. You know, where, where does the SS hop to? You, she either hops above you or she no longer does this platform to platform, you know, runaway game. Mm -hmm. For sure. All right, using that Nair, trying to find a combo here, Ooh. starting with falling up air, going to be a really good tool for ZSS, especially on that platform. If he's able to get that extension, um, might see a pretty early kill off the top. Yeah. Um, like we saw earlier in um, some of the earlier sets with Doorstop, 
you can definitely choose some stocks. Yeah, and just to point out, that C4 is very well placed on the right side of that platform. Mm -hmm. And something something that looks like Apollo Cookie is going to keep doing. He likes putting that C4 in that tricky spot. You don't really notice it. High recovery there, just back to the center platform. Okay, but Dorsop able to poke with this there again. I don't know if that grab was intentional. Great. But FTOL going to be a really good move for ZSS as well, kind of for boxing. If she recognizes that Snake keeps running in, she can kind of just spam that in his face. But Nair into back air going to be a really good confirm for ZSS. Is AK going to be able to get off Ooh. this ledge? Oh. Very important situation for Dorstop. Okay, that could have been scary. Misses the tech there, but luckily at low enough percent that it's not going to cost him his stock. Now, it feels like Snake, one of those characters, against the entire cast, but especially ZSS, where it's very difficult to really BS him. Yeah. Because of that grenade, because of the high recovery, because of C4, a lot of reasons. And that's kind of what ZSS thrives on when coming back, right? You see a lot of down smash into something. You see a lot of nair, forward air. So I'm very interested to see the ways that Doorstop, how creative he is, <laughs> how he's going to quote unquote, you know, BS and come back from some of these deficits. And we're already seeing it happen. Yeah, a big BS option would be breaking that cipher with oh, flip yeah. kick. Um, but the issue is that AK is just going high every single time. Yeah. He's able to just recover to the platform, and there's not really much that Doorstop can do about that. You're not going to see a lot of really early kills at center stage from ZSS, especially with such a high blast yeah, as this. For sure. And even without that, we're seeing a very different game right now. It was, it was looking pretty rough for Doorstop, and it's still, you know, a deficit he has to climb back from. But it's looking way better than it was about 30 seconds ago. For sure. Ooh, Ooh tries to catch the jump there, but Would've AK not giving it. Yeah, recovering low here, but Ooh, able to get that great back Great awareness, trading with the up B. All right, and this pretty even game if he's able to avoid all these explosives Ooh. that AK is throwing out, but this can be really scary. Okay, using that up tilt, but gets blown up by the grenade. Yeah, just playing super patient, waiting for an opportunity to get in here. Recognizes that those grenades are end center stage and doesn't want to get hit by the C4, but AK blowing it up. Yeah, and Doorstop for sure understands just how important being at 87% is, right? You maybe take one more hit, like like he's at now, yeah. and now up tilt's a way bigger problem, right? Up tilt killing is kind of the point where Snake becomes a pretty insurmountable object to pass. Oh, oh my gosh, okay. This, <laughs> Nikita kept going. Oh my oh, god! No is way. that it? Oh my oh god! My gosh. Doorstop? Insanity. I was just talking about how creative he had to be. <laughs> and he did it. You were talking about BS Factor. That's BS Factor if I've ever seen it. Yeah, really good awareness there from Doorstop, recognizing that. Um, AK was DIing out, so he wasn't able yeah. to get the up B follow up, but instead reading the air dodge and able to get that flip kick to kill off the top. Yeah, great awareness from both players because AK realized the up B wouldn't combo, so mm -hmm. he air dodged away. Doorstop realizing that AK was an intelligent enough player to understand that, you know, catching him for it. Yeah, that was crazy. It felt like that was in AK's favor the entire oh, time. Oh, yeah. But Doorstop just able to run that back at the end, just like we saw in the Luma set as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, insanely clutch player on an insanely clutch character. Great. Ooh. And an explosive start, 15 seconds in. This is the biggest lead he's had all set. Yeah, Dorstop <laughs> immediately taking a stock. All right, racking up even more percent. Lapping AK right now has this momentum in his favor and hasn't been touched. Now, AK known for being one of the most mentally strong players in the world. I don't think there's much more defeating than being down 2-0 and getting zero to death in the first 10 seconds. Yeah. I, I just lost this set here, personally. I mean, AK can definitely bring it back. Oh my god, what? what? Okay. ZSS might cheat. I don't I don't have anything to say about this. Okay. No, that was insane. I don't you're not supposed to be able to pass people in this game. <laughs> Yeah, Doorstop playing crazy right now. AK can definitely bring this back if he's able to slow oh, yeah. things down, but Doorstop just really outpacing him right now. Yeah, Doorstop is not the only clutch player on a clutch character that we're seeing on the screen right now. All right, yeah, just playing super Ooh, patient here. Great awareness the, on that yeah. jab. Using the jab frame one, gonna be a super fast option. Tries to use the up smash. It would be a- Oh, okay! I was about to say it'd be a giant statement for Doorstop to go into grands with a three stock 3-0, but <laughs> we are no longer going to see that. Okay, I have to, to imagine that was so close to being broken. Yeah. Yeah, tries to catch the landing here. AK using that back air. 
Not going to work out for him, AK though. needing to play nearly perfect for the next two minutes. We saw him get an it's early completely possible. fair earlier, and we know that AK's he's able to do it. But Oh, yeah. his own C4. Oh, no. So unfortunate. So you see doorstop 3-0-ing Apollo Kage to make grand finals at Smashworks. Very, very dominant. Yeah, great stuff. The doorstop there, able to 